middle. That's Jimmy Eat World here on Dan Radio Style. It was a requested song, and what's funny is, is when I finally got to that song, um, it reminded me of a CD I was given eons ago during a very interesting time in my life, uh, to say the least, and it was given to me by someone very special, uh, and it happened to have that song on it. So I never knew who the artist was, because it was just like a, a mixture CD that I never had the case, I never had the songs, never knew what they were, I just listened to it and know every one of them, like backwards and forwards. Uh, some of them I knew, the artists, some of them I just never did know. That was one of the ones I didn't know. So needless to say, that was a double winner for me. Also going out with a, uh, with a requested song as well. Now, you have the huge advantage of knowing what I've called this show. So you know what it's about far better than I do at this point. I know what it deals with. And I know what my intentions are. And I think it should make a giant difference in your Uh, ability to put more happiness in your life. No matter what you're doing, it's something that I think you can literally start today or tomorrow and immediately start to see results. And it's something that has nothing to do with manifesting other than it helps put your energy in that place we've talked about where you're in a very loving, self-loving, kind of uh, happy, sort of good, positive, vibrational energy that attracts the same back. So that is a very powerful way, I think, um, to immediately start making a difference in that overall energy flow. Now, it's also at a place I worked at, we had a competition to come up with, uh, what is it, an expression for the the acronym of this word, I guess. I think that's what it's called. And it was single most important little expression. Single most important little expression. Smile. Smile. Smiling is one of the most powerful things you can do. What I'd like you to start tomorrow for sure is at least one person a day, hopefully forever, but at least for the next seven days, just to make a point. At least one person a day, look at them genuinely and smile. You don't have to necessarily say anything. They might say, hey, good day, or cheers, or good eye, or whatever they say, like, hello, good morning. Guten Tag, whatever, good, good Morgan, right? I, I don't know, Guten Morgan, isn't that what it is in German? Anyway, I don't, I don't know what they're going to say for you, right? But when you truly do it, when you look at someone and genuinely smile, you pass a certain frequency to them. You will watch their face change. You did that. You caused that. You created a moment in someone else that was deliciously wonderful for them. Quite possibly changing the outcome of their entire day. Maybe they're weak, depending, because you'll find sometimes that universe puts the right people in our path at the right time. And the person that you choose to smile at might very well be someone that needs that smile more than anybody. Now, I know a lot of you are like, great, that's just called being nice. Why would I want to do that? Well, because I've talked Many, 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 many times. Hopefully you've seen it, even if you're one of my newer people. What you think, what you say, what you do. This is, everyone talks about this. This isn't like I made this up. This is like all over the manifesting world. Think, say, do. What you think, what you say, what you do. It's how you manifest. What you do is extremely powerful. And when you do something like smiling at someone, it is extremely powerful what you accomplish by doing that. You change their world, but on top of that, you're sending that energy back to yourself. And they say tenfold. They say tenfold what you send out comes back to you. It ripples out. That one person is going to spread joy to other good people, which is going to spread to another good person, which is going to spread to another person, which will spread to another person, which comes back to you in some awesome way. Why? Because that one act created a ripple effect that made a huge difference. That energy is what manifests. That energy is what's attractive. That energy to your specific person, for example, is delicious. If you're trying to manifest a new job and you go into an interview and you're vibrating like this, you are somebody that just feels good. I don't know what it is. Can't place my finger on it, but I want to talk to you. I want to hire you. I trust you. I don't know what it is. You're creating that energy and making a difference. So boom, that is a game changer right there just by legitimately smiling. Not one of those "Mm," smiles, not one of you're just like, "Eh." not a fake smile, not a crap smile. No, a real smile. If you're not given a real smile, then forget it. But it's also a way to 
force you out of your funk, whatever the hell you're in, and actually acknowledge that there's another human being on this planet in your path. And by, again, expressing these feelings of gratitude, these feelings of love, these, these kinds of actions are reciprocal in nature as far as the way the universe works. Another reason I bring up smiling is while you're meditating, another great practice is to try to have a smile on your face even during the meditation. You will find that it puts you in a better mood. It'll help you feel happier. The power of putting a smile on your face is amazing. Take something. I'm making the numbers up, but I'll be close enough for in, all intents and purposes, right? It's like, it takes like 40 muscles to frown, and it takes like seven muscles to smile or something crazy. Like, smiling is just easier. Like, it's just easy. You don't even have to work that hard at it, typically. It's a beautiful thing. And again, when you're doing it, there's just this subconscious internal part of you that knows, oh, I should feel happy. I'm smiling. Like, it's happening physically and then, you know, affecting you. It's a, try it. I'm telling you, it's a very, very powerful thing. And another thing I learned in radio and all the phone work that I've done and really any sort of communications, all the customer service stuff I've done, I know for a fact when you're talking to somebody and you have a smile on your face, it comes through the phone. People hear it, they feel it, they know it. Again, what you're putting out there is what is coming back. You're trying to attract your SP. You're trying to create more income and wealth in your life. You're trying to manifest a new home. You're trying to manifest a family. You're working on manifesting a new car. Just gobs of money, whatever. Having these feelings most of the time makes a difference when it comes to trying to manifest your dream, whatever it is. And certainly if people are involved in this dream... Being of that nature makes you a much more attractive person for whatever reason, for whatever that attraction needs to be. Trust, uh, just to like listen to me long enough to give my spiel, uh, fall in love with me, spend time with me, be my friend, sell me a home. I don't know. But in a lot of cases, you're going to find you're going to want to create trusting and lasting relationships, and a lot can be transferred during a smile, not just from you, but the one they return to you. You might actually see and be like, ooh, what's up with this? This is a funky smile. This isn't a real smile. Why is he not really smiling? Or you'll get that smile back and that game changer. It's an amazingly powerful thing. I hope you guys try it. I really, really look forward to seeing some of the comments of people saying, oh my God, it's just this one person, right? Because I know it's going to happen. So please, even if it's like I, I posted this video like you know, a year ago, still throw comments. I'll probably still see them and stuff. And other people will too. And just share because it's, uh, it's an amazing thing. And I'm not even going to question for one second whether it works. I'm quite sure it does. And that's, uh, that's what's so awesome about this concept. And again, still have no idea what the hell I'm going to call it. So we'll figure that out when it comes time. Going out with a great song by, I think it's Michael Bublé, to say it properly. And uh, again, I Believe in You. And it's a very, very cool song that uh, was requested. And of course, you're hearing that right here on Dan Radio Style. I believe in starting over. I can see that your heart is true. I believe in good things coming back to you. You're the light that lifts me higher. So glad you got me through. I know that there are times when you feel worthless Like all the love you get 